They're the butt plugs. The past 12 hours, but you know what? I was still farting. Just the head, honey. that you guys are gonna see before you see me making my way downtown walking fat okay <laughs> before we head to mother freaking korea which i'm so nervous a lot of the times people call it their motherland i guess it's my motherland is it my motherland it's my mama's motherland and so my grandmama land we have a bajillion gajillion other things that we have to do today these are empty by the way i know that i just rolled into frame acting like oh she got her shit on lock oh she probably already done packing no bitch I haven't even thought about packing. I haven't even thought about all the Instagram pictures I want to take, okay? This morning was probably one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my absolute entire life. So this is something that I would never pay for. But I don't really believe in housekeeping. <laughs> I believe in it. It just, I just never really experienced the luxury of housekeeping. You, other you than, don't believe in cleaning our house? No, I just don't believe in paying someone to do it. When like, you know, I can force you and myself to do it, you know? When you just don't do it at all. <laughs> in this place, they give you a free house housekeeping every month which I'm sure you're paying for in your rent and it's actually really genius because that means they're gonna maintain their units as well and when she came up in here she was so sweet she was so nice but I am so Asian and so the entire time I'm home I just felt guilty like I didn't even I didn't even want to look at her I didn't even want to look at her because the shame that I was feeling like how like how can I just sit here and let her clean my house like it just didn't make sense in my mind and so I Wait, kept I, trying to like act like I was busy I you did. know what? I do it all the time. <laughs> watch me clean. <laughs> oh, you do it all the time. <laughs> you watch me clean. And did you not feel any sort of guilt? No. Like, I was sitting there and I was like, oh my god, like, she probably thinks I'm like the laziest hoe alive. Like, what am I even doing with my life? And then I kept trying to act like, you know, I'm such a busy sister. Like, she booked and busy. Like, oh, she would not ever call housekeeping unless she was so busy. That might be an Asian thing because my mom feels that way. Like, she loves cleaning her own house and she thinks it's a little bit weird. And she's also really uncomfortable when other people try to do things like that. So maybe it's an Asian thing. I don't know. Leave it in the comments. Or maybe I just don't need to be home. But this was our first time. And it's almost like when you have your mother-in-law come over and you can't act like you are relaxing in your own home and you gotta have your strict posture like this. That's how I felt this morning with housekeeping. But I mean, the house is sparkling. Holy cow. How does she do it like that? Quiet. She's, She's silent. So, okay, you know what? I'm feeling like this is a little bit personal. Like, yeah, this is a personal attack. Oh, wow. Okay. She is very silent when she's clean, so yeah. like I didn't even like she just like <laughs> flow from room to room to room. It was so I'm creepy. Like, what happened? It was so creepy because I was sitting in the office chair to act busy, right? And then at one point I started doing this shit. Cause I had something in my notes, so I'm all like this, right? And then I look out the door because it was open and she's just wiping the countertops and we make eye contact and I'm like now she's just gonna think I'm a booger ass mess. 99.9% .9 of germs have died in here, so I'm feeling great. Just wanna give you guys a quick OTD because, you know, she's like a downtown soul cycle. You know, she, she, you know, she's wearing some athleisure today. Okay. I had a little bit too much coffee. Let's head out, honey. Your face don't look like you're trying to head out, though. But I need you because welcome to downtown where this is how we run our errands. Back when we lived in Beverly Hills, we would go somewhere, we would park, we would pay for parking, we would go inside, but not downtown. We, we do a two-teamer and one person stays in the car with the emergency lights on, so that's great. Hey, honey. Hey, honey. It's gonna be a good year. Okay, you guys can't see that far, but it's a good year blimp. That was supposed to be really punny and cute. I feel like if Mango could fly, that's what she would look like in the sky. Like just a broom. If you can fly. You know what? Hi, my name is Stephanie Sue and I want every single vlog to turn into an HGTV, but like the bootleg version. Welcome to my life. My fiance is currently moving out our office desk into the living room because honestly, this like circular shape and everything. Love that I'm like narrating it, but not helping you at all. <laughs> Isn't that the story of my life? <laughs> this circular shape is definitely more dining table vibes than it is like office table. So we're gonna try to switch it with this mama jamba and try to put this into the office because for some reason it just doesn't look perfectly. Boom, biz, this is what the new space looks like. I will say it does, okay, here's some good and bads about this. I feel like this is a lot more suiting for the area because this does look like kind of like a dining table. So you would expect this to be in like your living room like slash dining room area, but I feel like 
conspiracy time. Anywhere this circle table goes, the place just gets cooler. Like not in like, oh, she's so cool and hip and fun and Coachella biz, but kind of just cold. And so I think we are definitely gonna have to hang something above it on this wall. Maybe a clock, maybe a painting. I don't know, leave your suggestions in the comments below because this is a lot better than the desk and the fact that I just feel like theoretically it fits a lot better in this space. Let me show you guys what the office looks like now. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. I do feel like this is more office-y, no? I don't know what it is. I like it. it just feels a lot more homey, a lot more like office-y. So I guess this is like the new rug, the new office space. Maybe we'll move it back outside in a week. I'm not entirely sure. Like even when I look at it through this mirror, when I put on makeup, I feel like it's a lot more inviting. Whereas the circle desk was just kind of a little, a little bit awkward and a little bit boring. But I do think that I need to do something on this wall too, because this wall's kind of boring and plain. And we got a copy this. This literally looks like such a cute place to like just work and edit. I'm gonna be back, but not today because I'm going to Korea in like 24 hours. I'm royally screwed up it. And not just by the way that I look, that's so rude. And my hair looks absolutely crazy right now. I took off my lashes because I have had a little bit of a rough day today and my fiance decided to give me a massage. And so he starts on my back and I'm like, no honey, you give the best head massages. And I keep telling him, stop waiting your time and your energy on my back I don't love it and so then he doesn't listen and he keeps going on the back and then so I'm just laying here screaming just the head honey just the head and I feel like such a little shithead fuck boy but like what's good what's poppin bitch so my head is a mess my brain is a jumbled I literally think that my brain is mashed potatoes right now because I just spent all day freaking editing and just doing a bunch of work because I'm gonna be on a 14 hour plane ride and I just want to make sure that I have videos up while I'm on the plane and then I have enough videos so that when I get to Korea for the first like day before I can even start filming and stuff I mean I'll still be vlogging every single day but like I don't think it's I think it's gonna be like a little I think it's gonna be like a, a day where I'm not filming a mukbang so I just want to make sure that there's enough videos out for you guys and um T minus it is currently midnight right now and we have to head to the airport in exactly nine hours I have editing to do I still haven't even started packing and on top of that, we still need to sleep, wake up, get ready, and shower, and then call an Uber. So we've got nine hours to do all of that. And we, honey, do you think we can do it? No. It's not really the answer <laughs> that I was expecting. Energetic, yes, bitch! But then I get a... Mm. For the first time in my life, I have officially become someone who is a responsible ass human being. And do you guys see this? Do you see this? Do you see this? I got all of these outlet changing, like I don't even know what to call them. They're the butt plugs, not the butt plugs, the outlet butt plugs where you... I don't know what your outlets look like in your country. Leave it in the comments below. But the American outlets, they're like these skinny little, like it kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse or something, like some sort of animal. But the ones in Korea are just these two little like nipples that are hanging out so I got a bunch of these adapters for a bunch of like electronics she's so good at adapting the next morning good morning my loves so it is officially the next day same vlog but only like nine hours forward and I finally did not get any sleep but I finally finished all the packing I don't have lashes on I look like a hot ass mess Patricia called me this morning and she goes wait you're not at the airport and I go no why and then she goes Ubis, you gonna miss your flight and I was like oh Oh shit, so we're calling the Uber right now and we need to get an Uber XL because we have one, two, three, four, five, six suitcases. These two are completely empty so I can fill them up with like ramen, fill them up with like mukbang supplies, like you know, cute ass little spoons, forks, bis. I got two suitcases for that and then the rest are just like light equipment and our clothes. So let me just, oh no, don't hit that one. We're in a rush now. Time is of the essence. Do we still have all of them? I feel like I'm like on a school field trip and I'm a chaperone and I have to count all of my kids that are here. I'm like one, two, three, four. We're gonna check our check in our big bags right now. We're in line for the Korean Air and I think it's gonna be okay. I think everything's gonna be fine. I don't think we're gonna miss the flight. It seems like everything's going according to plan until it doesn't because that always happens. But usually we're really good and I think we have really good airport luck because I think we've only almost, wait, we've never missed a flight before in our entire life. The only time that we almost missed a flight was to Vegas which um, you know that's a flight that you can and maybe probably should miss so we're gonna wait in line and hopefully they're not gonna try to charge us because 
I think one of these might be a little bit overweight. We're gonna try to weigh it. Hopefully the scale is um, a little bit generous. Wow, Zaddy. <gasps> okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay, it's the deciding time, guys. <laughs> the limit, oh. 25? Oh, it's 23. 23. 23. Oh, okay. 23 oh, 22. Kilos. Oh, okay. Ooh. No, it's pounds, okay. 48 pounds. As long as 48. Oh, yay, thank you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're like 0.8 away. Holy cow. That was too nerve-wracking. And then these two are practically empty, so that's a little bit embarrassing. What? Sorry, I hate that. I hate that part where it's about to fall off and then you gotta make sure it stabilizes. You're not allowed to touch that. Side by side, right? Okay, thank you. You're welcome, go ahead. Walk all the way down. I'm expecting this guy to catch this. He doesn't give a fuck about my suitcase. Oh my gosh, do we I gotta do my duty here. He's like, it's way too early, but the duty, guys. <gasps> there's a Fred Seagull. Oh my God, there's an. Bye. This is perfect because the other day I was trying to go to Sephora to get my Clarins sunscreen and they don't have Clarins. Like they don't hold the entire brand at any of the locations anymore. I even tried to postmate it. Yes, it got that serious. And I couldn't have it shipped because I would have been out of town by then. So I'm gonna see if this duty free has a Clarins and see if I can get my sunscreen. Cause I've tried using other sunscreens before and they suck ass. They have my sunscreen guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so freaking excited that they have my Clarins sunscreen but I can't even buy it right now cause I gotta go to my fiance. Say, apparently they need your boarding pass which makes total sense because you got to be flying somewhere to get like the duty freeness but honey okay I'm definitely obviously really confused thought I was gonna walk out of there with my sunscreen just throw it in my bag but they said that they send it to the gate I don't even know what that freaking means okay so I have my receipt they're gonna send it to the gate I don't know what? <laughs> Does my sunscreen get its own seat? I don't know. I have a friend single. Now we're shopping. I'm sorry. Are we traveling to Korea today or are we just going to Melrose Avenue? I have no freaking idea. I set foot into the bookstore and I said, do you think that they sell water here? And my fiance goes, nobody here is thirsty for water. They're thirsty for knowledge. <laughs> okay, we found our gate. Which means I get to go out into the wild and browse some duty free, but also maybe get some Starbucks. He's telling me to stay away from coffee so that I can sleep on the plane because we arrived there at like, I think 6 p.m. so I shouldn't be like too awake, too woke, so I can't sleep on the plane at like the last end of the freaking plane ride. So this is getting complex. I'm literally timing my sleep schedules at this point. So we're looking for water and maybe we're looking for shopping and maybe we're looking for a bathroom. Hello, hi, here's $20 airport water. I'm going back into the wild. Dropped off the headrest, going back out for round three in the wild. A blanket, a little pillow, some headphones, a water bottle, and I think those are slippers and a toothbrush. That's really cool. Also, why is my blanket back so much? Yeah, I'm gonna change into slippers. <laughs> this one is some sort of potato salad, and then he has a dessert, and you just literally have a, like, a piece of bread, I think. <laughs> and then this looks hot, so this looks good. And then he got pineapple juice. Never drinks pineapple juice in his life, but like today, he's drinking pineapple juice. Oh, oh, that looks good. Like mashed potatoes, like a roast beef. And then the TV is popped up. We have a little bit of space here. Okay, still my dish. I got some sort of potato ham salad thing, and then we've got more dessert, a Diet Coke, and... I think I got the chicken and the fried rice. Also, we realized that the utensils are not plastic and they're like silverware, so that's... Oh wow, mine looks so healthy. about every single Korean parking garage that I've ever been in in the country. Excuse me, sir, I'm trying to vlog here. I'm trying to vlog and you're interrupting me. You're like echoing the whole freaking parking garage. Well, I'm just saying that there's a smell. Literally turned on the camera just to tell you guys that there's a smell and then I got attacked by my family, so here we are. My entire family is here, minus my mom. Okay, that got a little bit sad. From mother freaking Korea. We're in the motherland. I literally shook. We got out of customs. I'm out of breath We have a bajillion suitcases that we're trying to Tetris into a car. We've got a rental car. My dad's here Everybody's here. Yes, can we put that in the truck? Thank you so much okay, so Wait, What so that looks dangerous Whoa. that looks like it's gonna make the it, car it, explode. It's gonna explode from the back 
to the front, so I'm driving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah. We've Tetris this. It's gonna take an hour and 20 minutes oh in traffic. God. So this car is fancy. We got Opa, we got Ani. This yeah, yeah. is our quad for the week. I'm gonna oh tell Ani, I fly it. <laughs> I have to tell them about your travel struggles, guys. That the airplane ride was so smooth for us. We didn't miss the trip, we didn't miss the plane, and we also got like these crazy exit row seats for free. And so it was really nice. We had so much leg room for the past 12 hours. But you know what? I was still farty i think that there's a thing i think the air pressure makes me like kind of turn into like a helium tank up in the air but like welcome to korea <laughs> last night about seven hours before we had to go to the airport my sister was leaving like a couple hours like it's just complicated the way that it was happening she had like layover in toronto what well, yada 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 mom calls me and she's like hey listen why aren't you on a plane yet and i was like what and then she's like are you at the airport and i was like what our plane doesn't leave for like another seven hours and she goes oh, but your sister's getting there so early and i was like no she's not we literally booked our tickets so that we could only be like as close as possible because we're leaving from LA They're leaving from Atlanta and then she's like no She's gonna get there at like 8 in the morning and I said no She's getting there at like 4 p.m. And she goes no your dad's showing up at the airport at 8 in the morning And so I was like Has he been waiting what? And so, huh? oh. and so then she's like well I can't even call your sister because she left her phone at home <laughs> and I was like, what? And then she's like, send me send me her itinerary because like, she had forwarded it to me on Gmail, so I sent it to my mom, and then my mom was like, thank God, otherwise your dad would have been there with no ability to contact any of us on the plane since 8 in the morning, and we get here at like, what, 5 p.m.? Why was she thinking 8? Because that's when you guys get to Toronto. Oh, wow. So she, I know, I was, yeah, wow, and then so mommy funny. was so mad at you because she was like, guess where she left her phone? Wow. Guess, guess. And then I was like, where? And then she was like, she just left it under her pillow, like the tooth fairy type of shit. <laughs> like literally, you just left it under your pillow. She was so annoyed. I was so tired last night. Oh, I park, was... park, park, park. Oh. oh my gosh. Hey, We're going through Korean tolls. $1,200, $12,000. $12,000. What is it? Twelve thousand dollars. How much? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go have these on twelve thousand? How much is that? It's twelve dollars. Uh, no, it's a little less. Probably. Yeah, one thousand one is a dollar. And it's freaking cloudy oh, here. Holy so shit! This is the cloudiest oh, thing I've ever really seen. Foggy. He keeps doing this. It's so annoying. I'm like, babe, are you excited? And he goes, I've been to Cape Town. I'm like, no. it's not the same. You You're literally your mind is gonna be blown. We're gonna have. Yeah. So much fun. We're gonna go shopping. Oh but my mother honest, it goodness. Does look like New York. <laughs> this is so cool. So apparently what's going on is all of the parking lots they kind of look like this like look at this this is a residential street in korea and they just have a parking garage that looks like this you put your car in and it's like a circle thing because there's not enough space in korea so most of the parking lots are like that i thought la parking lots were wild this is crazy freshened up and now i've changed into some more suitable clothing and we've come out to like Gangnam area which i think is like i feel like most people if they've never been to korea or don't know much about korea it's like that one song like that area like that's literally where we are right now so it's so hectic here my brain is mashed potatoes at this moment i don't even know what to look like i don't even know what kind of food your butt is yeah our butts are mashed potatoes because we've been sitting so much there's so much traffic in korea we've just been sitting around in cars all day sitting around in planes and let me show you guys look at how cool it looks super busy shopping. but super bright like neon lights everywhere and so i mean we're oh, starving you guys leave it in the comments if you guys have been to korea or you guys wanted to try something in korea and i'll vicariously eat it for you guys but we are so overwhelmed right now seriously overwhelmed we have no idea where to eat and like they have street carts this is literally why i came here the cutest little Baskin Robbins. Oh my gosh, is this kind of like the sprinkles cupcake machine but you can do ice cream in this? I think so. Okay, I might come back for this. Okay, now we're on the main street. And I'm freaking stressed. We're so hungry. We're literally just trying to get food into our systems and everything is turning out to be kind of more of like a drinking vibe which is crazy because it's currently Wednesday night. We got here Wednesday 9.30. Everybody's I'm like, where am I? I feel like I'm in like a party college show, but like it's Korea. Ten hours later, we're still looking for our restaurant. Every restaurant that we go to, one person out of our five people group has something to say, has something against 
it. So we're just literally going block to block and these cars are aggressive. Holy shit. Cut it yourself. Oh, You've got geez. some fresh ass rice. That looks freaking good. I can't wait to have my first taste of kimchi in the motherland. Holy shit. This is like really what we drove or not drove. <laughs> what we flew 14 hours for is some fresh Korean kimchi right there. This is like a hole in the wall restaurant that we found. Appa! I ordered a Diet Coke and they said they only had regular Coke so my dad went to a convenience store and got me Coke Zero. Which like, dad goals. <laughs> dad goals. Dad goals. But also, I need to try this kimchi with you guys. Hold on. You good? Are you sure? Wow, that is so, so good. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's bubbling! Guys, this is so good! I'm really getting emotional! And then this is my sister's dumpling I kind of order one. That my fiance is getting jealous of right now. Oh, it's just beef and dumpling? You don't want your food salty? That mandu is huge! Can you pick that? That's half of it. She cut that shit in half and that's how big it is. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my gosh, we just got out of the restaurant and there was so much food involved. Okay, honestly, what did you what did you think? This was the first place that we went to, a hole in the wall. It's not super famous or anything like that. So I would say that it's like kind of like your average Korean restaurant. And I personally thought it was good for the price. It's above average. It's above average? Woo! <laughs> He was like, I bet they have this in K-Town. I bet it's the same thing. But one thing that I didn't see in K-Town that I saw here is there was a guy who was already so drunk. Wednesday night, he's wasted. He was a customer there. And I saw him pee. He left no. the door open. Me and my sister both made eye contact with or not with each other once we saw him. Not with him. But he had his like back turned and his wee-wee um, was out and he was peeing because he didn't want to close the door. And so we saw all of that. He asked if it was a, a free show. Showbiz. What? They're just drunk people everywhere sitting around. Yeah. Wait, I gotta tie my shoe. Hold on. Stop the party. <laughs> what is this place called, honey? Ziozia. Ziozia. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's Shake Shack. Holy shit. Oh my gosh. It was so cute. It looks like the fanciest, one of the fanciest restaurants on the block. You see space, you like space. We go into the space, guys. We're about to go into our first convenience since we got to Korea and they have they have so much ramen they have so much stuff and it's so affordable this is so much more expensive like at H Mart even so oh and you can even make your ramen and sit here and eat it I'm gonna be going to a Korean 7-eleven soon so don't even worry I'm doing a mukbang this they have your dried squid oh my gosh I'm so tired guys my fiance passed out and I couldn't even vlog the convenience store because usually when I go to places like the convenience store I give everything to my fiance to hold and I just run around vlogging around the town but he literally couldn't even just he couldn't keep his eyes open he was hunched up against the ramen wall falling asleep in the convenience store I was like okay we gotta get him inside the house and he's passed out on the couch right now and like I don't even blame him for some reason we slept I would say maybe like five to six hours while we were on the plane ride but holy shit something about that plane makes us so tired we're all so wiped I think everyone is barely holding on to their marbles which this is like I'm so annoyed with myself because I I wanted today's vlog to be super special because it's my first time in Korea with my freaking fiance and I was like this is gonna be the best thing ever this is gonna be amazing I haven't been in Korea in like literally a decade it's gonna be the absolute biggest shit show but it's gonna be fantastic and then it just turned into literally a shit show dinner was good but I think we're all just kind of a little bit jet laggy a little bit tired a little bit just out of sorts and I think we all just like want to hop in the shower and get out and make sure we don't get jet lag so that's pretty much the main priority of today I need to edit this vlog and then I'm gonna pass out so I can wake up early in the morning. I don't want to be on LA time while I'm in Korea because it's like a 16 hour difference. So I think I'm gonna call it a night, guys. I love you guys so much. I'm gonna give you guys an Airbnb tour tomorrow, but to be honest, we don't love the Airbnb. And parts of this Airbnb is like really creepy. Like they have this crib, just a crib, and like stock photos. <laughs> like 
just stock photos. <laughs> It's kind of creepy. That's gonna be it for today's vlog. I love you guys so, so much. Stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog because tomorrow we will properly be out exploring Korea and I'll have my little external mic so you guys can hear me. It'll be a proper Korea vlog. Fiance, I'm not even shitting you. He's passed out, like knocked out cold on the couch. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh.